would also uh, snatch baby birds and eat them. Oh, yeah. mm. uh, some of the large seagulls. Oh, there's some big, big fish in here. Didn't you used to have black swans here? Still got black swans here. Oh, yeah. There's a little bus shell, I think, here, just up there. Mm. Uh, it used to go all the way up to the maze, but they, they stopped doing that. I get out, the birds of the river come down in here and fill it up. So, did you say this is higher than the lake? No, the lake's higher up than us. Oh, right. So, does the lake feed this? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, that's man made as well. Flooded that in the early 80s, to create that one. Oh, gosh, right. Oh, yeah, it's a sluice gate patrol coming down to here and then a sluice gate patrol going back out into the river. The uh, arches are Henry VIII, 1522. Uh, yeah, it used to be a drawbridge between these two islands. Uh, uh, we're just going past the good old toilet. That, that, the that is the toilet, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's sat yeah, right where, where you can see. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, it's proper name though is a garderobe, which is actually French for wardrobe. And that is because French was basically the official Bums. language up to. And we actually had two kings supposedly killed off with objects being shoved up their bottoms. Pokers. That was the most famous one, yeah, Edward II. Ah, oh, they've got the right idea. What, the pigeons? Yeah, to die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, that's just nesting on there. Yeah, they, they nest all year round in here. Very safe because obviously the birds are praying things like that. Can't really see them in here. So yeah, yeah, literally all year round with them. In fact, he's so close to the king that they were lovers. Edward, oh, okay. he, yeah, he was bisexual. But in any case, he's caused a lot of tension between the lords and the king. So he decides to try and use Lord Battlesmere as a sort of a mediator because he was friendly to the king. So he thought he'd get better results that way. But Battlesmere was a bit of a middleman. He saw the king's side and he saw the barons and lords' side. And he was trying to get deals and agreements that suited both of them. But the king didn't want that. He doesn't want to concede anything to his soldiers.